what's really good, what's really good. Where's the peoples at? Where's the peoples? Louis V, what's really good, my broski? D. Robinson was popping. What is looking like? What is looking like out there? Frankie B was popping. D. Robinson, I appreciate you, my brother. Appreciate you for watching. Slim Blunt Gang in the building was really good, man. Nah, I mean, I came on here so I could continue with the... Uh, talking about how to get money on youtube man you feel me because i left some details out it was too much stuff to talk about in one in one joint anyway you heard so i gotta i gotta continue with that you know what i mean bobby blue bands was popping bro i ain't see you in a minute what's well, really good And see what's really good. I appreciate that, uh, D. Robinson, that y'all watching that in the barbershop, man. That's what's really good, man. That's what I intended when I made this show and this channel. I'm like, I, I, I want that barbershop love where, you know, it's 20 motherfuckers watching this at one time. You heard? So I appreciate that. David Frazier was really good. Bad Time in TV was popping. B. Gutter, what up? Kevo was popping. Yeah, man. But, um, yeah, man, so, you know, a couple of the things I want to talk about as far as getting money on YouTube is concerned. Now, the number one thing we got to discuss is getting the 4,000 watch hours. Like, in order to get a partnership with YouTube, you got to get the 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers. Now, this may sound hard, but it's really not that hard. And... I just bumped into a dude, and I mean, shout out to bro that, and I mean, he got an interview with um, Royce the 5'9", right? Now, this is a smart thing to do when you're trying to start a channel. If you know you got to get to those 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers, you're going to have to devise a plan on how you're going to do that. So one of the suggestions that I suggest is if you got, if, if you can get up money, some people may have a couple of dollars. Some people may have a job with a steady income where they could invest in their channel and others may not. You understand what I'm saying? But if you do, if you do have a job and a steady income and you want to start a channel, you, you got to use your job as a means to get your channel popping. So when you get some extra bread on your job, you got to take that bread and invest it in getting guests on your channel let's just say you know one of your favorite rappers is uh who knows like let's just say one of your you a big locks fan you feel me you may can't afford uh every member of the locks but you may afford you may can afford one member or an affiliate of the locks or a producer that produced mad songs for the locks you may you may can only afford whatever's in your price range you get an interview with them so let's just say you landed an interview with, you know, a, a, a very known producer like, like, uh, motherfucking, uh, uh, what's the nigga that used to produce for Wu-Tang Clan? Um, the Seventh Disciple, right? I'm just using him as an example. Is it Seventh or Twelfth Disciple? I can't remember. The producer. Leave a comment if you know his, if the name correctly. But let's just say you a big Wu-Tang fan and your, and your, your channel is based around hip hop content. You feel what I'm saying? Bro, you might not be able to afford the RZA and Ghostface on your show, but you might be able to afford up getting an interview from a producer. Yo, bro, look, I got this amount of money. It ain't a whole bunch of money, but I need a quick 
20 minute interview with you boom you pay that dude you get the motherfucking interview now that's your content now you you upload that shit you got a 20 minute interview with somebody that people done heard of you feel me and you push that shit to get your watch hours and then if you could do it again you do it again so let's say you got three different uh interviews where you got a, a decent guest on your shit that people have heard of you feel me you use those three interviews and you keep pushing them shits until you get your thousand subscribers. Most likely, if a motherfucker run across your channel and they see uh, you got an interview with somebody well known, they're going to subscribe. A lot of niggas is going to subscribe because they want to see more of that. You feel me? So this is the type of stuff. And then if you got an interview with somebody known that's worth that's worth taking a look at, you send it to a dude like me and I'm going to share it on my page and be like, yo, check this interview. If you gen pop fam, you feel what I'm saying? So it may be five or six motherfuckers that subscribe to your shit every time I share it. You understand what I'm saying? Or I'm, or, five, or them five or six niggas who subscribe it, subscribe to your channel may tell another five or six niggas and then your subscribers start going up. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, man, but um Yeah, but like yeah, so that's how you gotta do this shit, bro. That's how you got to do the shit. You feel what I'm saying? You got to get content. If you know you got to get them 4,000 watch hours and them 1,000 subscribers, you got to get content that you know people are going to watch, my nigga. You understand what I'm saying? By any means necessary. You feel me? By any means necessary. Even if it means you going in the street looking for content. Because there's always something out there. You feel what I'm saying? But... You got to build that 4,000, them 4,000 watch hours up. You feel me? And the best way to do it is to get some decent ass interviews from motherfuckers that you can afford. Like I said, different niggas is different prices, bro. As you get your bread up, you get bigger names on your show. You know what I mean? If you got a street channel, then you already know. Your, your shit ain't based around celebrity guests or, or anything like that. So you got to go out and reach out to street motherfuckers that's going to give you some dope ass stories. You feel me? So that you can have some content to get your 4,000 watch hours. Because once you get those 4,000 watch hours, it's all uphill from there. Like, you feel what I'm saying? You get your partnership. Now you don't got to bust your ass for your content to get pushed out there. It's going to get pushed out there. But first, you got you to gotta, you gotta create a Trojan horse to get into the game. You feel what I'm saying? And sometimes that Trojan horse may take a couple of dollars out your pocket. You feel me? Like, I'm the type of nigga, I ain't never had no steady income, but when I needed to do something, I had to find a way to get that bread by any means necessary. So if I got to pay $500, if I can get an interview out of a dude for $500 or for $1,000, I can get a star to give me an interview, I'm going to give that nigga that $1,000, bro, because his interview is going to be a tool for me to get more watch hours. You understand? So while you, if you're trying to start a channel... You come at a nigga neck like, yo, bro, I got 500 for you. You heard? I got 500 for you right now, Cash App, if you do this interview with me. I give you 250 right now, and I give you the other 250 after the interview is over. Nigga be like, all right, bet. Send that shit. You understand what I'm saying? Boom, you paid a nigga 500. Now you got content that you own, and you interview the nigga that's known. Because you'd be surprised how many niggas will do an interview for 500 cash, my nigga. Niggas will do an interview for free. So imagine 500 cash. You get a couple of good names on your shit. Now you got some content. Now you can use their face. You understand what I'm saying? Now you can use their name. Yo, boom, interview with such and such. Click here, you feel me? And niggas is going to click on that shit. And then you get your motherfucking watch hours. Once you get your watch hours and your partnership up, you can turn your channel to whatever you want it to be. That's the crazy shit about it. Like, you could put out skateboarding material right now until you get your watch hours up and then turn that shit to a hip-hop channel. You understand what I'm saying? Once you got the partnership, you got the partnership. You could do whatever you want with the channel. You understand what I'm saying? Then you got people out there who sell channels that already have a partnership. Like, niggas that they got, or they sell channels that already got a certain amount of subscribers, a certain amount of motherfucking, um, uh, 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 view watch hours. I don't know how legal that is, but I know it's niggas out there that they'll give you their channel. Like, yo, boom, here go the email to it. Here go everything. Just pay me this. Boom. And it's business. Put that shit in contract. Yo, you are, I'm giving you this money and you letting me be the owner of this channel. Boom. Now you got a channel with subscribers already. Niggas do that, bro. 
You understand what I'm saying? But yeah, bros. Jasmine Quinone is yeah, we gotta step the, we gotta step the female population of Gen Pop up. You heard? Aaron Hawley was really good. Charlie Hustle was populating. Know what I mean? One Truth TV, what up? Crypto Color Lights was popping. Shut Up and React TV was really good. Sonny Blacko, what up? William Garcia was really good. Gino for show, what up? Tsunami C was really good. Ninth Power, what up? American Bully Show, what up? Yeah, man. But yeah, so boom, like I was saying, you know, if you a dude who don't have a partnership now, if you do. Now, this is another thing. Like I said this and I'm going to say this before. If you're a YouTuber and you already have a following and you are already getting a bunch of views and you don't have a YouTube partnership, make sure you check your, your YouTube inbox messages, your messages from YouTube. Make sure you check your messages because sometimes it's a partnership offer right in your mailbox and you don't know it. So you go in there, you look at your YouTube mail, boom, you see your YouTube mail, you accept the partnership. Once you accept the partnership, you're in the business, you're in the game. You understand what I'm saying? But like me, I sat around with that partnership in my mail for months, for months, and I ain't know nothing about it. Then I said, let me check my YouTube mail one day. I checked that shit. That shit was in there. Partnership offer. You feel me? So make sure if you get money on YouTube and you don't have a partnership for some strange reason, the strange reason is because you didn't see the email. You feel what I'm saying? Then once you accept that, them niggas going to start paying you. You feel what I'm saying? For all of those motherfucking hits and all the ones that you already got, you done, you just lost money on that shit. It just sucks. But that's why I said you re-upload all of them shits, bro. Re-upload all of them shits that they got green checks on them and get all your money. And then the ones that got yellow checks, make sure you request request review on each and every single one. You click on where it says add suitability and you request review on anything yellow. Never just accept a yellow sign. Always request review unless you know for a fact it's mad curses in the first minute of the shit. If you know it's mad curses in the first minute of the shit, don't even request review. Because what's gonna ha what happens is, the more videos that you upload that get a green light, YouTube starts showing you love. Now, this is how it gets crazy. If you upload six, seven videos, ten videos in a row that were proven to be clean enough for advertisers and got approved, they're gonna start approving your shit automatically they're gonna start giving you the benefit of the doubt and start approving your shit automatically <coughs> but the whack shit is if you make a couple of mistakes and upload some shit and you say yeah this is good to go trust me and you click you click yeah it's I'm good to go and it's not good to go then they're gonna put you on the burn list where they're gonna start taking longer to approve your videos for green so, like, I may upload a video, they approve it for green in two, three hours. But if I'm on the burn list, they may not approve that shit for 30 hours. So they stopping you, they slowing your money down. That's how they punish you. If you upload content that's not advertiser friendly and it's curses all in your shit and you just forgot and didn't take it, sometimes that happens. Sometimes I upload a video and I forget to, 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 to censor the first 30 seconds or the first minute or minute and a half. And I upload it and I forget about it. Then I'll go back and listen to it. I'll be like, damn. Now they're going to burn me. You understand what I'm saying? And when they burn you, they're going to slow your money down, my nigga. So that week you could have made $1,000. You might have only made 700 because they burning you. You feel what I'm saying? So you got to try to not make no mistakes with the uploads at all. You got to get it down to a science. And realistically, the easiest way to do it is to make a one-minute intro. I don't do that. I just get straight to the story or straight into it. And sometimes I pay for that. But if you want to make, if you want to push the big red easy button, you know, the big red easy button, they sell at Staples. I got to get me one of those again for my desk. You understand what I'm saying? But the big red easy button, sometimes you got to push that. Boom. 
So if you if you want to do things the easy way and not the hard way like me, just make yourself a one minute intro. See, I be feeling like sometimes the intro get on people's nerves and makes them not w watch it. But if you could put together a good one minute intro without a song that's going to get you a copyright strike, without a beat that a producer is going to sell to another nigga 10 years from now and fuck up your whole bag and say you owe this nigga money from 10 years of of, of clicks. You feel what I'm saying? Make an intro with your own goddamn beat that you own. Go find a producer on SoundCloud, on Facebook, buy him a beat, make him draw up a motherfucking contract, pay through it on PayPal so that you can write the shit on a note for beat. You understand what I'm saying? So you got some type of proof that you paid for the beat. You understand what I'm saying? Use that beat as your intro. Not, not, not mean your favorite mob deep beat, not your favorite you know, none of that because you're going to get copyright strike for that shit. So make yourself a one minute intro and save that intro. Make sure it's, it's formatted the correct way. It's crispy. It's 1080p. You understand what I'm saying? A 4K, whatever you want to show. Make sure it's saved crisply. And then every time you do a new episode, you just put that one minute, that one minute intro in the beginning. And then you ain't got to worry about the shit. You feel what I'm saying? Me, I do things the hard way. So, you know what I mean? But soon I'm just going to stick to the fucking intro, my nigga. You understand what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, man. So, you know, we talking about how to get money on YouTube again. You feel me? Like I said, for those who don't have the 4,000 watch hours, how you get the 4,000 watch hours is you got to create some dope ass content. Now, if you can't afford to pay a nigga two, three hundred, four, five hundred dollars for a little interview to get your, your channel looking spicy. And you got to do it all on your own. Then when you got to take that camera and you got to put, you got to say some shit or go film some shit that you know is going to get some comments and go get some. Then you ain't got to be a shock nigga like when you just saying disrespectful shit to get some views. You ain't got to do that. But it's money in that too. You feel what I'm saying? But I don't do shit like that. But you'll be surprised what gets views, my nigga. And you ain't going to find out what gets views until you, until you test out. A few things you feel what i'm saying so you test out some shit upload some shit and you see what people is clicking on and watching you feel me and then you keep going until you get them four thousand watch hours my nigga you you use like i said you get a decent interview out of somebody it could be somebody very simple my nigga but people know who that is you pay them yo i got three hundred dollars i got four hundred dollars yo i'm gonna pay you boom just give me this interview over zoom you film the shit you keep you know what i mean and then you use that fucking content right there and you, you've posted it all the hit. You join a thousand hip hop groups on Facebook. You go join a thousand hip hop groups on Facebook. If your show is some hip hop shit and you got a hip hop interview, you go you go join a thousand hip hop groups on Facebook. If your shit is some jail shit, you go join a thousand jail and prison groups on Facebook. You feel what I'm saying? And you start posting your link in there. You start posting your link in there every day. Boom, boom, boom. Every day you take 20 minutes out your time, a half hour out your time to share shit on Facebook. Know what I mean? And when you share shit on Facebook, I'm going to give you a secret. They'll, they'll kick you off and get banned if you do it the wrong way. When you share shit on Facebook, you got to do it like this. Boom, check this new interview with Jada Kiss with 20, quest, with 20 explanation marks. As you post them shits on each group, you erase one explanation mark. Boom, this group. Then the next group, you erase two explanations. Then three. Then four until there's no more explanation. Because if you keep posting the same exact shit, the, the, the computers is going to pick it up and they're going to ban your shit. So as long as the computer picks up a different something on each post, you ain't going to have to worry about that. You understand what I'm saying? So you post in the motherfucking Facebook groups, whatever your, whatever your content is about. If your content is about dogs... You go join every damn dog group, pit bull group, anything, right, dog rights, anything you can join about your content. And then you begin to post your link in those groups. And every day, five or six motherfuckers, 10 or 20 motherfuckers will start watching. Nigga might watch 10 minutes. Nigga might watch 15 minutes. Another nigga might watch the whole shit. Those minutes add up. Before you know it, you're on your way to 4,000 watch minutes and 1,000 subscribers. You understand what I'm saying? Then... It's proven that you got to tell people to subscribe. Like, I don't be doing that too much. I just put the subscribe shit on. But you got to tell niggas, yo, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Because a nigga might want to subscribe to your shit, but he don't remember. And you be like, yo, subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. And nigga hit it. Boom. Now you, you got 999 to go. 
And then you keep going until you hit a thousand. And then boom, once you get that partnership, my nigga, you can start making a living off of YouTube content if you know what you're doing. You understand what I'm saying? But to get those 4,000 watch hours, you're going to have to get a, a, a video or two that is interesting and people want to watch. And you got to make that just some decent length of time, like 20 minutes. You feel what I'm saying? And then if you could get it longer, you break it down into two parts, my nigga. You break that shit down into two parts and you say, yo, part two coming. You feel what I'm saying? And you hit niggas with those segments and your watch hours will begin to grow slowly but surely. You feel what I'm saying? And you grind it out and put that work in until you get that partnership, my nigga. Once you get the partnership, then you can start <clears throat> patternizing your channel like, all right, boom. They going to push this. All right, let me do this right. My shit clean. My thumbnail is right. Boom, boom, boom. You upload that shit. Before you know it, bro, your videos start doing a couple of thousand views. You feel me? And you start getting a couple of dollars. And that's how you do that shit, my nigga. Real talk. Let me see what y'all talk about on the kid of the You know what I mean? Facts, though. Different at all times. King Bill, I see you. Blood on the razor wire. TV was really good. Rochester, The Rock, was popping. Joshua Bell was really good. Henny Hardaway Jr., I see you flagging that gym pop. You heard? You know what I mean? We live. 914 PT, I see you flagging that gym pop. I appreciate you. You heard? Silly Wonka was really good. One second. Yo. I'm a, I'm a come get you. All right, give me like, I'll be there in like a half or sooner. All right. Um, but yeah, man. So, you know, we're going to keep talking about this because, you know, I, I remember things as I go along. Dave V732. Salute, bro. Appreciate you for tuning in. You feel what I'm saying? Ticket the great. What's really good, my bro? I see you in the building. But yeah, man. Yeah, I'm chilling like a villain. Yeah, Jasmine, I'm chilling like a villain. That's through with stealing. You heard? But um, word up, man. So yeah, we're going to keep building about this YouTube shit. But for those who don't have a partnership and you are trying to get your 4,000 watch hours and your 1,000 subscribers, you can't let that shit intimidate you, bro. You got to create content you got to sit around plan plot and strategize and bomb first you got to create content that you know motherfuckers is gonna watch and if you really want now you could do it with a thousand uploads you could upload a thousand different videos and get motherfucking four minutes watched on each and get your shit or you could upload two three videos with some strong content and push it it's different ways to do this shit my nigga but either way you got to get to that four thousand watch hours and the way you do it is Get some decent con content and join a bunch of Facebook groups and share that shit on Facebook. Share that shit on DM on Instagram. Everybody you know, if a nigga's your man or somebody you know, tell him, son, I need a comment on this shit. I don't care if you say the. I don't care if you just comment the word the. Just put a comment on this shit so that the algorithm on my shit could get pushed up. You feel what I'm saying? And that's how you do it, bro blood on the razor wire what question is that my bro appreciate that donation man appreciate everybody hitting that cash app cash app dollar cent dollar sign gen pop fam i always say that dollar sand dollar sign gen pop fam nothing is worse than i gotta upload a video i did the other day nothing is worse than when you call a nigga when you try to call a nigga something two things at one time like the other day what i called the nigga i was gonna call the nigga my boy like, I, right, my boy, and my guy at the same time. And I called that nigga some shit like, mm -hmm. I, my goy. I was like, what the fuck? I always do that, my nigga. I'm going to start letting it be known how every time, every stupid time I do that. Call the nigga my goy instead of my boy or my guy. I'm like, I, right, my goy. Be like, damn, I hope that nigga ain't hear that stupid shit. Call that nigga my goy. You feel what I'm saying? Adam G was popping. V Tantry, I appreciate you, bro. Appreciate them donations. Real talk. Now I mean, I'm saying though, what up? 
Pittsburgh in the building. What's really hood? But yo, let me see. What was that question? Um, blood on the razor wire. All right, boom. My video's been pending review seven days. How do you get a review in twenty four hours? Yo, bro, listen. Sometimes they be doing that shit to my reviews, my nigga. And it's 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 a it's a couple of times. Nukem was popping. It's a couple of times that I requested review on shit, and they never they never they never answered it. It just stayed on review forever. So if something is on on a review for seven days like that, just re-upload that shit. Cause sometimes it'd be a computer error. So you know what I mean, re-upload that same exact file. Make sure it's clean, of course. The first minute and 30 seconds, make sure that shit clean. And then upload that shit again and request review again. And sometimes they will approve that shit before the one that you've been waiting for for days. YouTube is funny like that, but you know, we gotta realize it's millions of motherfuckers requesting a review on their shit. So sometimes they fuck up. But if your shit been on review for mad long, re-upload that shit, bro. Re-upload the same file or change that shit one little bit, like cut cut two seconds off the end and re-upload it so that YouTube can recognize it as a different file. And then they'll they may they may do the request review um process faster. Florida was popping. Nah, you can't pay them to review the shit. But so you saying when you click request review, it's just taking mm -hmm. mad long for them to get back at you? Because if you could if you could click request review, that means you already have a partnership. And that's another thing. If you have a partnership with YouTube, they got customer service. I had to call them niggas. Like I had to call YouTube customer service the other day. And complain like, yo, I think y'all niggas made a couple of my videos um, green, um, yellow by mistake. And, and and I put in a ticket. I gave them niggas the, the video ID number and all of that shit. And one of them, they fixed. And the other one is like, yo, this one is yellow. I'm like, damn. You feel me? I was hoping to win both cases. But sometimes if it gets real hectic, you got to call YouTube customer service. If you got a partnership, partnership you, could, you have the right to call in and get some help. Or you do it on over online on the chat. You understand what I'm saying? But either way, I, I gotta start utilizing that shit because um uh, some videos is too important for that shit, bro. I ain't never hear nothing about a 24 hour review, but it, it, it let me know if that's true. If you could pay them niggas to review your shit in 24 hours, shit. They always review my shit in 20. Like right now, I got a video right now. That I've been waiting for these niggas to approve. They denied it one time. I re-uploaded. I changed something. I re-uploaded. And they and they ain't denied yet. It's still under review. I don't know what the fuck it is in this video that they telling me is not good. Let me see if they denied it again. Nope. It's still being reviewed. This shit been being reviewed since motherfucking yesterday morning you understand what i'm saying so sometimes bro it's just the computer my nigga it's just how the computer is functioning and then sometimes they approve some of my shit green and they turn that shit yellow right in the middle of me getting my money my nigga so you know it'd be rough out here sometimes it's a grind your youtube check you can't really say exactly what it's going to be for which niggas because it all depends on their content and their RPM. You feel what I'm saying? Like your RPM is how much money you get per thousand views. So you got to check uh, You got to check your RPM. Your RPM may be $8. Your RPM may be $5. <coughs> the more work you put in, the higher your RPM goes. You feel me? So... A nigga may only have 30,000 subscribers, but he got a $12 RPM. And another nigga may have 30,000 subscribers and the same type of views, but he only got a $6 RPM. You feel what I'm saying? So it all depends on a nigga RPM. So that's why this shit is tricky, bro. Because you could get 10,000. One dude could get... um. One dude may get a certain amount of money for 10,000 views and another nigga may get three times that money for 10,000 views. It depends on how long you've been putting out 
videos that YouTube make money off of. Once once YouTube keeps making money off your videos for a year straight, they say, yo, this nigga's a cash cow. Keep raising his RPM. You feel what I'm saying? Keep raising his RPM up because his shit is guaranteed to reach a certain amount of people. So niggas is like Reebok. You want a commercial on this shit, you're going to have to pay us $17 per thousand views, my nigga. And then they break you off with 12 out of that 17. You feel what I'm saying? Or some shit like that. Something like that. If you got a thousand subs and you getting 10 uh, if you got see it like i said it go on an rpm but let's say you got ten thousand views on the video and your rpm is ten dollars you feel what i'm saying your rpm is ten dollars that's gonna be a hundred dollars my nigga you understand what i'm saying because you're gonna get ten dollars per thousand views so that's gonna be a hundred dollars so the key to this shit is it ain't about the video it's about how many videos you're gonna upload see I may drop a video that that shit makes a hundred dollars, right? That ten thousand dollars video may make a hundred dollars, right? But I got two hundred of those videos out there. You feel what I'm saying? Or oh, that's the goal. See, right now, I, I'm still going through the process of making sure all my all my content is monetized because it wasn't always monetized like that. I was getting when you get ad suitability, you may get two dollars, three dollars RPM. That ain't shit. So if you if you got a three dollar RPM and you get ten thousand views, you only made fucking thirty dollars off that shit. You don't want it like that. You want to make ten, eleven, twelve dollar RPM. So I'm in the process of cleaning up all my shit right now and making sure my shit get monetized. But the bottom line is, if you got a video, if every video you make is gonna do, let's say you get it to where as every video you make, every video you upload makes twenty dollars a day. Right? This is how you get money, my nigga. Every video you got makes $20 a day, and you got 200 videos that's on YouTube. You got 200 uploads that's making $200 a day, my nigga. I mean, making $20 a day. Do the math on that shit, my nigga. Do the math on that. You got 200 videos making $20 a day for 28 days out the month. Because it go by 28 days, four, exactly four weeks. So if you if you got 200 videos making $20 a day for motherfucking 28 days, bro, that's a that that money adds up. It starts adding up quick. You feel what I'm saying? Good looking on that donation, bro. Appreciate you, my nigga. I appreciate you. They blocking half of your name, man. I see Brian, which is my name, Brian Jehovah. I appreciate you, my nigga. You know what I mean? But like, yo, real talk. Um, yeah, bro. So the, the, the key to it is to keep dropping content, keep dropping, keep dropping. Like sometimes I'd be like, I could, I could take two, three days off. But if I take two, three days off, that's less money in my pocket. You feel what I'm saying? So I don't really take days off. Like sometimes I may say I let this shit rock for a couple of days. You feel me? Just do what it do. You understand what I'm saying? It still makes money. It's passive income. But it would make $30 more if I uploaded a new video today. You understand what I'm saying? Like, so I don't want to make 200 a day. I want to make 250 a day. Then once I start making 250 a day, I want to make 300 a day. You understand what I'm saying? Because the bottom line is, if you could get it, if you could get it to where as you make 500 dollars a day on YouTube, you'll be good, my nigga. You'll be good. You won't need too much more. You feel me? Yeah, this shit is alive, but you know I'm keeping it up here for people to watch. So. When I when I finish with this shit, y'all niggas watch this shit. And, and, and like I said, I'm learning as I go along also, bro. I don't know everything. I'm I'm learning shit. I'm sharing the shit that I'm learning. But I'm learning this shit myself too, my nigga. I'm sitting down watching tutorials online. You feel what I'm saying? Real talk. I be watching mad tutorials, my nigga. It, that's another thing. You got to sit your ass down sometimes. And watch other YouTubers giving tutorials, my nigga. You feel me? Y'all appreciate them donations, my niggas. Real talk. I appreciate those. Blood on the razor wire. I appreciate you, my nigga. Bro, you got 12,000 subs. Now I mean, like, your shit, is, your shit is a cash cow already, my nigga. Trust me. There's a lot of YouTubers sitting around right now that 
Y'all don't know. Y'all missed out on twenty, thirty thousand dollars this year. You feel what I'm saying? Because you got to sit your ass down and do what I did and sit down and read, watch some tutorials and really study this shit, my nigga, because I don't want to have to do nothing else but make YouTube videos. And then you want to get it to a point where you don't even have to make videos no more, nigga. Your content is just going to get money forever, period. You feel what I'm saying? You All you got to do is re-upload shit. And come out with some new shit every once in a while and smash niggas because it gets to a point where you got so much content, you don't need to keep making content no more, my nigga. Jerry Seinfeld, they be like, why you don't come? He don't need to make a new show, my nigga. Jerry Seinfeld doesn't need to make a new show because Seinfeld is going to earn money forever. You understand what I'm saying? So that's how they got to do it. But them Facebook groups, listen, the Facebook, let me tell you what they say about Facebook. They say it's four hundred thousand dollars, if not more. I think it's four hundred. They say it's four hundred thousand dollars of free promotion on Facebook. Facebook is free promo all day, my nigga. What you gotta do is make your content look like something worth clicking on instead of some spam. Cause everybody's sharing YouTube links, but when you share a YouTube link and your shit look like it may be about something with a title that's that's that that's catchy, this is how you're gonna get followers. You feel what I'm saying? So. I got alarms set on my phone that go off like two or three times a day. And those alarms is to remind me, share some content on Facebook. So I'll pull over if I'm driving and I'll share that shit to five, six groups right now because all of that's money in your pocket. And I'm going to tell you something else. These is jewels. I'm going to tell you something else. The more uh, your content gets watched on Facebook, the higher your RPM goes. Because YouTube wants you to promote on Facebook because they know that Facebook is where the money is at. So the more your shit get viewed on Facebook, the higher your RPM goes up. My shit got like a 30% of my viewers is coming from Facebook and I don't even be sharing like that. So that means y'all niggas is out there sharing shit to Facebook and that's what I need. Because when you share that shit to Facebook, um, YouTube rewards you for that. And I'm going to tell you something else. Australia and the UK, they money. Like when you start getting Australian fans and UK fans, it boosts your RPM. And then you got some countries that lowers your RPM. So you got to be careful. You got to be careful. Some com some countries, if they start tuning in too much, it'll lower your RPM because the products that YouTube is trying to advertise on your page, they don't sell in those countries. They're not being sold in those countries. So you got to Google that for yourself because I don't want to put certain countries on blast. But you got to Google that. It is certain RP. It is certain countries that will lower your RPM. You understand? So you might not want to market to those countries in particular. If they, if they tune in, they tune in. There's nothing you could do about it. But you don't want to get too crazy. And I tell you that. I tell you that because a lot of niggas is out here buying um, SEO work, right? Blood on the razor wire. I appreciate you, my brother. Now I mean, it's a lot of people. P worthy. Peace. Peace to the God. It's a lot of dudes on here like doing what I was doing. I was paying for SEO work, right? You know what SEO work is? Search engine optimization. Look that up. Search engine optimization. Now listen. Now li it's nothing wrong with SEO work, but you have to be careful with niggas on Fiverr and scam ass niggas on Facebook. Ask, yo, you want to boost your YouTube views? Don't fuck with niggas because what niggas do is they will boost your views in a in a country that lowers your RPM. You understand what I'm saying? So niggas got your RPM mad low because he in fucking this country or that weird country pushing your shit. You feel what I'm saying? So if you're going to fuck with somebody that does SEO work, you got to fuck with a nigga that is, is based in where your channel is based. If you a UK nigga, a France nigga, then make sure his shit is based in your country. Don't have a nigga do search engine. Op what search engine optimization is. Now, listen, you could go on Fiverr and you could pay somebody to do search engine optimization for your channel. This is all legal. You could give them niggas your YouTube page. You could let you could give them permission to sign in your YouTube page through YouTube and you could deny them access anytime you want to. Now, if you could meet. A good search engine optimization specialist. There are some good dudes out there. And Fiverr, the site themselves, 
they have certain SEO experts that they represent that they represent and they recommend. So don't use don't use trash SEO motherfuckers. Use niggas who say I'm pushing your shit in the US. I'm making sure I'm a boom, boom, boom. And then you pay them niggas and they will do search engine optimization. What search engine optimization is, they keyword your video. So let's say you got a video about jail stories, right? You got a jail story. What they do is they will dig into YouTube and find out exactly what keywords people that watch jail content is typing in YouTube when they search. And they will tag your content with all of that shit to whereas when you drop a video, the search engine optimization specialist is going to make sure your shit gets seen by different motherfuckers. So the key, you can use search, you can use SEO expert. You could go on Fiverr and find you an SEO expert. But what I recommend is you use a nigga that's based out of the U.S. and works with you. He don't have to be living in the U.S., but he understands that you do not want no international. You'll be like, yo, right now I want U.S. content. Because you, it's harder for you to get watch hours if niggas is pushing your shit in India and you talking about Rikers Island. Nigga, like, what the fuck is Rikers Island? You understand what I'm saying? Maybe a few people who like that content, but not the majority. So you have a nigga push your shit where you want him to push your shit at. You can have a nigga target your city. Let's say you from Pittsburgh and you want to start doing a show called motherfucking uh, uh, Pittsburgh Crime TV where you talking about crime in Pittsburgh, right? You could, you could pay an SEO nigga to just target Pittsburgh, my nigga. Yo, right now, I just want to target Pittsburgh. And if you know Pittsburgh motherfuckers is going to watch some Pittsburgh content, you're going to get your watch hours faster than trying to push a Pittsburgh show to everybody. Nigga, like, I ain't from Pittsburgh. I ain't watching that shit. But a Pittsburgh nigga is going to be like, what's this Pittsburgh shit about my hood? He going to watch it. You're going to get five minutes out of him. You're going to get eight minutes out of another nigga. Next thing you know, that 4,000 going to start creeping. You understand what I'm saying? So that's another thing. You can pay a SEO agent. If you don't want to do the dirty work yourself, pay a nigga a couple of hundred dollars to do some SEO work on your channel. What they do is they make your channel easier to be found. You understand what I'm saying? They make your content easier to be found. And you got some garbage ass SEO motherfuckers that's all, that scam artists and they going to give you a bunch of motherfucking sheep dick sheep dick motherfucking Alaska. They're going to have you in sheep dick. Why are you going to say Alaska? They're going to have your shit in motherfucking in the, in the Sahara Desert. You heard? They're going to be pushing your content in the Sahara Desert. You're going to be like, what the fuck? So... You only fuck with SEO niggas that fuck with, that understand your content and it's going to push your shit to a community of people that you know. Go on Fiverr, make you a Fiverr account and check out SEO. Type in SEO YouTube channel and it's going to come up with a bunch of different niggas. You fuck with the nigga with the highest rating. The niggas with the highest rating is niggas who have had good business and people recommend them. And then you got some niggas that Fiverr themselves recommend. So you use them niggas. They be a little bit more money, but you use them niggas. You pay them niggas two, three hundred dollars. Yo, boom. Get my YouTube channel jumping. And they help you. You understand what I'm saying? Just don't fuck with them niggas on Facebook that be hitting you up. Yo, you want to SEO? They them thirsty niggas. They be scam artists. Fuck with the niggas who they ain't looking for nobody work. The work come to them. You understand what I'm saying? So you can find anything on Fiverr, my nigga. You can run a fucking business on Fiverr. But if you want, if you need them watch time hours and it's, it's getting too frustrating for you, go hire a SEO age, SEO expert, a search engine optimization expert through Fiverr. You understand what I'm saying? Download the Fiverr app and find you a SEO expert, right? But like I said, fuck with the niggas that's recommended by Fiverr. Don't fuck with some strange nigga just because he got a low price because he going to rob you. You got to fuck with a nigga that got a thousand stars and a thousand reviews and Fiverr is wrecking. Fiverr is recommending them niggas. Fuck with them. Pay them niggas and they will help you get your channel up, my nigga. You feel what I'm saying? To get to them 4,000 watch hours. But for niggas who already got the YouTube, I'm about to get up out of here. But for the niggas who already got the YouTube partnership, make sure that you check your YouTube mail, your YouTube notifications. 
Make sure a partnership offer is not sitting in your mail and you just didn't see it. And you missing thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of dollars because it happens. So make sure that shit ain't in your mail. And then when you do get the partnership, watch part one to this so that you can know how to upload your shit. But for those who don't have the 4,000 YouTube hours yet, I mean, watch hours yet, SEO, search engine optimization. Find you a great dude, my nigga. And then you have companies that do it. Certified companies. Look it up. Look up what's best for you. Search engine optimization, Facebook groups, my nigga. That's where the money is at. And when you drop a new video, if you got 10 motherfuckers that's online that you fuck with, you make sure all 10 of the motherfuckers leave a comment on your on your on your newest video. Listen, bro, I ain't trying to annoy you, but I'm trying to get my YouTube channel popping. Can you just go in there and leave any comment? Say anything. The cat dog. I don't give a fuck what it is. Just leave a comment so the algorithm can start popping. And, you know, you get as many comments as you can, my nigga. And your shit will start to pop. But, I mean, Z-Man suicide polo with the ski, man. I'm about to drive. You understand what I'm saying? So I don't want to be driving not paying y'all niggas no attention. Know what I mean? But check this shit out. Know what I mean? For anybody that's getting some information out of this, I'm happy. You feel me? Roosevelt was popping. Peace to the God. Know what I mean? Henny Hardaway was really good. Aaron Hawley was really good. Adam G, I see you. Lamar Lovett was populating. Magic 111 was popping. Ross. Review report. Danny Rodriguez was populating. Lucky Television Movie Network was really good, bro. Know the ledge. What up, my nigga? I'm happy to see you back on deck. I'm about to start. I'm, I'm dead ass. I'm about to start the Fat Vegetarian channel because I need a whole nother channel getting money. You heard? And it's going to be easy to get to them 4,000 watch hours with that shit. So this weekend, I'm downloading all my videos, re-uploading them shits on a whole nother channel. It's going to get ugly. You understand what I'm saying? I just be having so much shit to do. I can't get shit done sometimes. I be doing too fucking much. Real Life Real was populating. Shout out to Latin Pain. I still got to get that Latin Pain interview in. Tell Latin Pain to holler at me. We still going in, my nigga. I mean, I ain't forget about you. I'm just running around doing too much shit, my nigga. Real talk. Tree Nobleman was popping. Goldie was really good. Yeah, bro. Yeah, you got to fuck with them U.S. FIVA motherfuckers for a fact. Sutex money. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but you right about that, bro. Them SEO niggas got to be in the U.S. And they got to they gotta be U.S. motherfuckers that know what they doing. You understand what I'm saying? Because a lot of them niggas be scamming. Knicks 100 was really good. Don Bishop was popping. Mac Ben was really good. Southside is outside. You heard? Slim Blunt Gang in the building. John Marston was really hood. P Gutter, what up? That super chat money comes with your regular YouTube check. And then YouTube takes a, 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 a slight percentage of that. You feel me? Like YouTube take their little slight percentage of the money. And then the rest of it, it comes in your YouTube check. So let's say you made $2,000 off of views. They add, they add your $2,000 from that, your $300 you made from Super Chat during that month, and uh, your YouTube premium. You understand what I'm saying? Your YouTube premium is the money that you make off of videos that's not approved completely, but they still get YouTube premium money. So, you know what I mean? I'd be, I be happy for that little $200, $300 extra in premium, um, YouTube premium money too, nigga. I take all of that. Triple Fat Goose on deck. You heard? Malik Garcia was popping. Malik Garcia, my fault. I see you in the building like a janitor. You heard? See you in the building like a landlord. But like, yeah, bro, I got to go pick my daughter up and shit. So I'm about to get up out of here, man. But y'all go comment on the newest, latest joints. I dropped the joint today about Kingston Park. You feel me about how niggas pulled the gun out of us, gun out on us in front of Kingston Park back in the days. You feel me? Then I got uh, the Saquon Throwback Thursdays that was supposed to drop yesterday, but the shit ain't get proved, approved fast enough, so I dropped it today. 
the Saquon joint, that picture is exclusive, for Green Legends in that picture. Y'all niggas leave a comment on my latest uploads. You heard, if y'all want to help me get that bag. If y'all want to help me get the bag, leave some random comments on any videos. I don't care what videos it is. You heard old videos. Just scroll through them shits and comment on them shits. Share them shits to Facebook. That's what's helping me. You feel me? We trying to get this motherfucking channel to take over the streets, my nigga. We taking over the YouTube streets. Know what I mean? But yeah, I'm on Facebook, man. For those who want to follow me on Facebook, I'm on Facebook at motherfucking just put Brian St. Laz Johnston. My real Facebook page got deleted. I was the king of Facebook at one point in time. My shit got deleted. Now I'm a peasant on Facebook. You feel what I'm saying? But I'm still there, man. So if you're on Facebook, add me, Brian St. Laz Johnson. Add me on motherfucking uh, 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 Instagram, Real St. Laz. You feel what I'm saying? Um, email me if you got some business you want to do. Email me at lazbeats at gmail.com. Yeah, my cash app, the cat, the official cash app is dollar sign gen pop fam. G E N P O P F A M. Gen pop fam. You feel me? Shout out to everybody who be randomly hitting that cash app. Sometimes I wake up and it just be some random cash apps in my shit. I appreciate that. You heard? I mean, I got the name St. Laz because I used to be a biblical scholar. And when I was getting knowledge of self, after I finished learning 120, I started studying the Bible like a maniac. And the science behind um, St. Lazarus just was, was deep to me. Like he laid, he laid at the rich man's gate and begged to be fed from the crumbs that fell from the rich man's table. You feel me? To me, that was the ghetto. So when I mean St. Laz represented the poor and is the patron of the poor, is the, the saint that poor people pray to. And I was so fucking poor and grew up in such poverty and grew up around such poverty that you feel me? That was my favorite saint, Saint Lazarus, because it was the saint for poor people. You feel me? So, know what I mean, that's why I took that name. My name because I came up stupid poor. Real talk. Hugo Stacks, I see you. Ron Mel, I see you. Stephen Bones was really good. Know what I mean, Stephen James was popping. But yeah, man, y'all niggas hit me up, man. I'm about to drive. You know, I, you know, fuck with me. I stay on, I stay on live with y'all niggas all night. Oh, I forgot it's Friday, man. So I might I might be back on this bitch later on tonight. Real talk. Know what I mean? But for those who ain't see the episodes of the lessons, make sure y'all type in St. Laz the Lessons. You heard on YouTube, put in St. Laz the Lessons, and it's gonna come up with the episodes on the lessons. And then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get back to the lessons too. We ain't finished with the lessons. I don't wanna scare niggas off bombing them with lessons all day. So I gotta keep the jail stories and street stories. But I'm going to get back to them lessons soon, and I'm going to start smashing niggas with the lessons again. And then the old episodes of the lessons, I'm re-uploading all of those shits. So get ready, because I will be preaching to y'all niggas for a fact. You know what I mean? But the lessons is coming, my nigga. Trust me, we ain't playing no games. Z-Man, no, I might be back on um, later on tonight, man. It's Friday, man. Night is young. Delaware in the building. What's really good? I see y'all.